Well, we spoke with the suspect's uncle who lives in Portland, and he tells us this mother and son were so close, he can't believe his nephew is behind bars for this. The bond between this mother and son. Some family members say it was unbreakable. He loved his mama. Loved her so much, he tattooed mama's boy across his neck. She was a good heart. She loved children. She loved people. Riverside police are investigating why 51-year-old Micah Maddock was murdered. In the meantime, they've charged her son, 24-year-old Aaron Aubrey, with her killing. I don't tell my son yet. Luis Felix lives at the base of Box Springs Mountain, where detectives use bloodhounds Thursday to track Maddox's body. I was waiting over there, I was sitting in my truck for about an hour because my kids was here in the house. This is an area police say Aubrey was known to frequent. I'm in shock, like, what happened? Police say Maddox's longtime boyfriend called them Wednesday, worried that she wasn't home or at work. He reported her missing from their Sycamore Canyon neighborhood. Thursday, police found her car in Corona. They say Aubrey was driving it. He was charged with auto theft, identity theft, and a parole violation, and later charged with his mother's murder. I miss him with everything in my soul. I've been looking for him because I know my brother had a piece of him that's missing me. We spoke with Aubrey's uncle over the phone from Portland. He said he'd been looking for his nephew for 10 years, trying to reunite him with his biological father. He doesn't believe his nephew could kill his own mother. I believe that they, they made a mistake. I believe that they need to investigate more, even if it points at him because he was driving the vehicle in the same air area that he loved. Maybe he was looking for her. And police tell us they are looking for a couple of other people to speak with who they think might have some information about this woman's death, but they are not looking for any other suspects at this time. Reporting live tonight in Riverside, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.